Baby Sahil was separated from his family in the chaos of the Kabul evacuation. At last, he's been found and reunited with his grandfather. Uh, it's a historic day, says Mohammed Qasim Razawi. Sohail was just two months old when his parents handed him to a U.S. soldier across an airport wall on August the 19th. They feared for his safety in the crush. He went missing as thousands rushed to leave and Afghanistan falling under Taliban rule. After a Reuters exclusive published in November led to online posts of information, he was traced to the Kabul home of taxi driver Hamid Safi, who had named him Mohammed Abid and was raising him as his own. I entered the airport and saw a baby lying on the ground in a very bad state. I looked around and showed the child to many people, but I couldn't find anyone related to him. I called my wife at home, and I refused to go to America. I brought the child home. I brought him milk, and we have been taking care of the child since that time. After more than seven weeks of negotiations and pleas, and a brief detention by Taliban police, Safi handed the child to a jubilant Rizawi on Saturday. The boy's grandfather had travelled two days and two nights from the northeast to the capital, bearing gifts for Safi and his family, including a slaughtered sheep, pounds of walnuts and clothing. It'll be hard to let him go. We love this child, Hamid's wife Farima says, but he must live with his parents. They are in the United States. Suhail's father, Mirza Ali Ahmadi, is a former U.S. Embassy security guard. He was nearly inside the airport when he passed the baby over. But at that moment, the Taliban pushed the crowd back. Officials told the desperate family once they got in that Sahail had probably been evacuated. They could be reunited later. They ended up at a military base in Texas with, until the story went public, no idea where their baby was. The family hopes to be together again soon. Their story highlights the plight of other families who were separated in the chaos of the evacuation.